drivers welcome back so this is my second drive and I wanted to circle back to my cold start ride to work so I took my green f-150 to work today from my house to the shop it's two and a half miles with an analog uh, odometer I remember I said this this burned four miles uh, on a cold start drive to work uh, under 40 miles an hour with the wipers and the heat on um, but what I wanted to say is it was probably like 60 degrees out. It was, there was frost, so it was probably definitely under 60 degrees. And what I noticed is at 60, yeah, under 60, so probably 45. I don't know. It was cold. But the suspension, I said to you, was very harsh and firm. Now that the, sem that the temperature outside is like in the 70s, I can feel that the car is, has a softer, plusher ride. If that makes any sense to any of you guys um, and I wanted to compliment that you know I get a new car every three years um, not Tesla at least at least key is every three years and uh, I've had Mercedes and BMWs and a bunch of other vehicles throughout my life and I will tell you this vehicle here has the tightest feel all right in the steering wheel so um, and it also has probably one of the straightest wheel alignment that I've ever ever have driven in a brand new vehicle. And typically, I drive on these roads and with the newer cars, and the wheels a little teeny tiny off. And I and I'm driving in the same roads that I always drive with all these cars. And I will tell you this: this car tracks amazingly well. So I don't want you to think that I'm down on Tesla. Um, I'm going to use this as a learning experience, and so are you going to use this as an educational piece too what to look for and you should expect quality from your manufacturers um, uh, you know and not let them get away with sloppy work and things like that I mean my customers don't let me get away with it be it product issues or uh, installer issues so why should you well yes let me tell you probably one of the best right and uh, this actually handles very similar to my Z06 Corvette very very similar um, so there's some compliments uh, to be said about Tesla's engineering um, but I'm curious to you know really get into this car and and see what else is uh, what it's like underneath and inside and around and all that stuff but I'm curious to what Tesla's gonna say to me today about me writing all over the car about you know my unhappiness I also found another issue which is the wiper arm is very close to the hood underneath to where if you hit certain terrains your hood flexes and so does the wiper arm is it going to chip the paint over time underneath it there uh, on the driver's side wiper arm I say yes so if I want to keep this car after the lease term do I want to have to deal with a paint chip and rot spar or paint peeling shortly after you make you know the purchase of buying out your lease no I don't want that and nor do I want to be dealing with leaky taillights. Uh, you know, my, my, my nephew's Tesla S model, the left rear taillight did the same fucking thing. I think they've actually replaced it twice uh, in one year. And then they just had to recall for the front motor replacement. Like, if that car was out of warranty, could you really afford to do all that? Probably not. Uh, but who's to say what time will bring? Um, but I'm on my way there now, and I'll let you know how we make out. Thanks for watching.